year uh, 1868 is usually considered to be a beginning of modern Japan. In that year, Tokugawa government, federal samurai government in Edo, today's Tokyo, was replaced by modern imperial government. However, the introduction of Western science had already started long before the Meiji Restoration. Uh, from the middle of the 17th century until 1853, the Netherlands was the only European country with which Japan had diplomatic relationships. Books in Dutch on science and technology and medicine were imported into Japan during this period. And in the 1770s, some Japanese medical doctors began to learn Dutch and translated Dutch anatomy book into Japanese. This is the beginning of so-called Dutch learning, Langa in Japanese, which was a process of learning about the Western culture through Dutch. And in the 1830s and 40s, Udagawa Yohan, a physician by profession and scholar of Dutch learning, was the first Japanese to write the chemical chemistry textbooks. Semi Kaiso, Introduction to Chemistry. In Japanese case, as in Hungarian, family name first. So Udaka is family name. And I use that Japanese or Hungarian way. And the textbook was based on Dutch translation of German translation, William Henley, who was born in Manchester. Uh, elements of experimental chemistry. Udagawa read a number of contemporary Dutch uh, chemistry textbooks imported into Japan, including Dutch translation of Nawaji's Tate and Matebu Shimi. In Semi Kaiso, Udagawa lists 58 elements, five of which turn out wrong later, such as light and carbon. He employed a traditional classification of elements, dividing them between non-metals and metals. And during this, uh, uh, in, nine, in 1854, after the federal government abandoned its policy of tight control over foreign trade, the political situation began to destabilize. During this period, uh, some of these studies of Western learning developed Udagawa's chemistry. For example, Kawamoto Tomi, a teacher of chemistry at the School of Western Learning of uh, Tokugawa government in Edo, translated a number of chemistry textbooks and wrote her uh, own textbooks based on Dalton's atomic theory. So institutionalization of science, including chemistry, started after the Meiji Restoration. Modern Western education system was introduced and many foreign teachers were employed by the new government for higher education. Scholar of Western learning translated foreign teachers' lecture into Japanese. Teachers' lecture notes were also translated into Japanese and published by Minister of Education. Uh, Herman Richter, a uh, German chemist, came to Japan in 1870 and taught chemistry and physics in Osaka and Tokyo. His lecture note was translated into Japanese and published Kaku Niki, a diary of chemistry, in 1876. And Kaku Niki contained information about elements, atomic weights, layers, and elementary explanation of the structure family of organic compounds but no particular mention of the classification of elements. Uh, during this early period of modernization, Japanese translation of following elementary chemistry textbooks were published. Most popular author was the English chemist, Henry Bosco, also from uh, at Owens College, this later became this university in Manchester. And American chemist, Ira Renzen. Roscoe's introductory textbook, A Primer of Chemistry, was translated into Japanese several times during the 1970s and 80s. 
since it was an elementary textbook, it contained 63 elements and classified them into non metals 15 elements, and metal, 48 elements. Ira Renzi's Elements of Chemistry, a textbook of beginner, was another popular book that originally was published in 1887, which in included classification of elements based on vacancy, but made no mention of field law. Even though most children did not have the opportunity to study beyond the level of elementary education, some of middle, upper class children, including those who belonging to the former sunlight class, studied Western languages from early age and continued to study at higher education institutions in which Westerner uh, taught. Major government sent the most successful students to Europe and the United States to study further. When they returned, they replaced the foreign teachers, thus become the first generation of Japanese professors. Sakurai Joji was a chemist who belongs to the first generation of Japanese chemists. He studied in three-year preliminary course and two-year specialist chemistry course of the chemistry department under English chemist uh, Robert William Atkinson. Then he was sent to England, studied at University College London between 1876 and 1881 under Atkinson's teacher, the famous chemist Alexander William Williamson. When Sakurai returned to Japan in 1881 at the age of 23, he obtained a teaching position as a lecturer in the Faculty of Science of Tokyo University as a successor to his mentor, Atkinson, and was promoted to professor next year. The first uh, graduate of the Department of Chemistry of Tokyo University formed Tokyo Chemical Society in 1878, year following their education. This society played an important role in dissemination of field law in Japan. Atkinson, the professor of chemistry at Tokyo University, <coughs> read the lecture on history of belly of elements at the first annual meeting of the society on April 19, 1879. This was the first mention of the period law. Atkinson prepared, uh, preferred the lot of Meyer's paper on the relationship between atomic weight and atomic value, but he did not mention a Mendeley. Matsui Naokichi, the first Japanese professor of chemistry in the Department of Chemistry at Tokyo University, mentioned Mendeley's period law for the first time in paper on recent history of the atomic value in 19th century appeared in the Journal of Tokyo Chemical Society in 1882. He explained the law as a recent discovery based on the Kamisaro's new atomic weight. Uh, in the 1890s, first generation of Japanese professors, chemistry and those of applied chemistry who also played an active role in chemical society as an early mentor, started to write chemi chemistry textbooks in Japanese for middle schools and for introductory courses of chemistry in higher education. They all mentioned Mendeleev's period law. The structure of their textbooks on inorganic chemistry was based on the period law. One of the first uh, chemistry textbooks to mention Mendeleev's period law was chemistry textbooks first found in organic chemistry, edited by Takamatsu Kurikichi, and published in 1890-91. The last chapter, Takamatsu stated that Mendeleev's field law had been proven by the discovery of three elements, scandium, gadium, and germanium. Uh, Takamatsu was one of the earliest graduates of the Department of Chemistry in Tokyo University. Yoshida Koroku published two valuable chemistry textbooks for middle school, uh, normal school, and liberal arts college in 1893. Soon after the publication of Takamatsu textbooks, Yoshida 
to study chemistry under Martin T in the department of chemistry at, at Tokyo University and graduated in 88. After two years studying in Germany from 1898, he became one of the first professor of chemistry of Kyoto Imperial University, the second Imperial University in Japan. He was known for pioneering work that was stage 99 in Japan class. Uh, Yoshida's book was one of the first chemistry textbooks truly based on the pioneer theory of law. In the preface of Yoshida, mentioned Mendeleev, Richter, Renzi, uh, Oxford, okay, and Renzi, uh, Lipson, and Takamasu. After 14 introductory chapters on basic computer concepts, chapter 15 explained the theory of law. Further, he described the familiar family of elements. This structure, reminiscence of that of Mendeleev's principle of chemistry. Also interesting, Yoshida's uh, chemistry book turned to read not only by students, but also by various intellectuals, including Mori Oga, one of the most famous novelists in Meiji uh, period. And I can find the book in his collection. And as a preface of Yoshida, sex of show, Japanese chemists of ancient period read various chemistry textbooks published in Europe and the United States. One can find both Lothar Meyer's famous The Model Neo and the Chemie and Mendeleev's Principle of Chemistry in the University Library in Japan. Lothar Meyer's outline of theoretical chemistry was translated in Japanese. Therefore, one can expect that they must be direct inference of Japanese chemistry from that work of philosophy of law. And not all of the first uh, generation chemists accepted the period of law without doubt. Ikeda Kikunae was one such chemist. He was son of Ki Kyoto, as a son of a uh, samurai family. And he was, after graduation of the Tokyo University, he was sent to Europe and studied under Oslovat for two years. He wrote several chemistry textbooks uh, for middle schools and higher education, including translation of Oslo of inorganic chemistry. And there, it seems that he did not pay much attention to the period system. And in his textbooks, at least not to be enthusiastic about the law. Now, conclusion. The first stage of institutionalization of chemistry in Japan was completed with, uh, completed with the establishment of Tokyo Chemical Society in 1878 and the foundation of first Imperial University in Tokyo, 1886. The discovery of their law in 1869 and 71 and its dissemination in the 1880s coincide with the institutionalization of chemistry in Japan. This factor helped make smooth reception of the field system as a basis of chemistry in Japan. Most of the first generation of Japanese chemistry professors accepted the period of law as one of the recent developments in chemistry in Europe without much doubt and wrote the first chemistry textbooks for middle schools and universities based on current chemistry textbooks in English and Japan <coughs> and German, which included the period of law with some exception, like Ikeda, which I mentioned last slide. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, do you have a question? Question, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, uh, when uh, Western textbooks were uh, introduced and translated into Japanese, there was also a new universities organized. Uh, I wonder if, uh, from the Japanese point of view, did they notice the difference, for example, that the German university system was not the same as French university system or British university system at the time? And when, sorry, what kind of institutional reforms in the university learning was going on at the same time? And which of the different European versions of uh, university education was more important for each and In case of uh, higher education in Japan, it's two stages. One stage is 
developed its status the first 20 years after the major restoration. Each university has its own uh, higher education for the bureaucracy. But after 20 years, after the first formative period, uh, Ministry of Education collected all the educational higher education and made one imperial university. It is only one, so not Tokyo Imperialism, because it's only in Tokyo. And only after uh, Tokyo Imperialism, it remained Tokyo Imperialism. And Imperial University in Tokyo, it's a kind of combination, because uh, revolution of Meiji restoration, the far side. So they saw that all the European uh, situation and uh, knowing the Japanese situation. So, so Imperial University is combination between German, French, British system. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you very much.